So on my quest to learn as much about myself as possible, I found out some very awesome things. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of information available to us. And truly, next to the divine life force energy that, energy that has been given to you, it is paramount that you invest as much time and finances and whatever else you have in acquiring information. And the reason why is that when you begin to do the research and unleash the information in your mind, especially as melanin dominant or, Afri or melanin uh, or Africans, you will be awed at recognizing that truly you are a God and God essence. And this is extremely most important. Uh, as I begin to look at the scientific research and the data that's actually been studied on us, it's amazing uh, what it is that I have found out about myself. Perhaps some of you are not very much aware of my work, but uh, I am an immortalist. I understand that aging is a disease process, so is death. I understand that any decline in prime function is also disease, menopause climateric, aging, these are dis-ease states and they are not natural phenomena that the human being has been created to experience. The more melanin an individual has, when you begin to do the research, you recognize that it really is an absurd experience because just by the chemistry, the physiology of the body, etc., this is something that unless under total ignorance and a total resistance to actually accept and maintain what you have, do you actually even undergo those kinds of experiences? What is also so awesome is, is that when we are ready, because we do have these wonderful anatomical and neurological <coughs> structures, we can begin to regenerate ourselves at any particular time. I talked about this on a radio show not long ago in New York. Yes. You can regenerate your spinal cord, you can regenerate your brain, you can grow new limbs, new organs, whatever it is that you choose to regenerate. However, everything requires, first of all, an acknowledgement that this is possible, and then secondly, to find out what precisely you need to do to actualize the experience. So anytime you begin to collect thoughts in your mind that things are impossible, that experiences are not experiences for you for reasons of primarily inadequacy, then do understand that obviously by universal law those things cannot be in your realm. When you begin to evaluate your belief systems and the foundation upon which you define yourself, if you are holding on to belief systems that just by the thought of them create discomfort, poverty, what you can't afford, what you can't do, why you have to continue to be on jobs that create discomfort for you every day. Understand that by my definition on a scientific basis, that is a sentence to your own hell. These are all experiences only, only based on your belief system and what it is that you are allowing yourself to entertain. The universe, and especially in this dimension, which is known as a holographic dimension, mercurial, very much so, a mirroring dimension, whatever you believe creates your reality. So therefore, when you have belief systems that immediately create discomfort, you have to understand that it's only by your choosing to continue to <coughs> think that thought that you create your own discomfort. It is only what we call a relative reality. It is not an absolute reality. So when I talk about absolute realities, I'm actually talking about the fact that there are laws that permeate all dimensions, or as it is quoted in the Bible, rulership of, over all mansions in my mother father's house. Those are absolute laws. And any dimension you're able to move yourself into, you will find that it is requested that you have to obey those. But on a relative sense, relative reality has really been cloaked and has been perpetrated by social, cultural norms, okay, which are chemical realities that are actually written upon your genetic structure. Now, this becomes very awesome because as you begin to look at your gene pool, and this is why you have to begin to start studying yourself, many of the values, many of the belief systems that we have are obviously 300,000 years old. It has been discovered 
that Lucy's genes are actually 500,000 years old. Uh, some interesting things will come out about her because it will be also revealed later on that she really didn't even originate from this planet. Okay, this begins to be how awesome that is. But definitely in the Aborigines, when they look at their genetic count, which is actually 42 plus 2 chromosomes, okay, because you have to understand that we all don't have the same chromosome makeup. There's 42 plus 2, 44 plus 4, and 46 plus 2. So depending upon the chromosome number that you have and also the number of chromosomes that you are actually able to activate depends and will determine your reality and the capacity that you have to master this dimension, okay? This is why if you begin to really do the study, there's really seven races on this planet that are divided based on their chromosome number. The Aborigines are really the original chromosomes that at least Caucasians have identified, which have the 42 plus 2 makeup. And they do contain at least 300,000 years of information in their chromosomes. Unfortunately, they have been one of the groups of people that have been researched on most intensely for that reason. So when you think of Jurassic Park, you can also think of the Aborigines. Okay? And it's been an awesome thing that they have actually gone through for the Europeans to actually unlock as much as they have about DNA and the genetic code. We have 12 sets of double helixes, not two. Most people, however, don't even activate one-fourth of the one single double helix, which is why they actually are experiencing the kind of life that they have. Limitation, lack of any type, type discomfort is not your destiny. And do not ever allow a person to indoctrinate that with you. If you are experiencing it, it is because you have a relative reality that is not in alignment with absolute truth. This is one of the things that I stress because truly we are all potential gods and goddesses. That is only a state of existence that you personally have to earn, but the potential was already given to you. And not until you are ready to do the personal work and begin to understand who you are, can you begin to activate the seven levels of brain function.